Hello students, uh, this video will show you briefly how to access your Moodle account. Okay, this is important because you get to see all the materials in there put by the instructor, such as the PowerPoint presentation, uh, uh, the books, the videos, anything that the instructor would probably put on that Moodle account. So uh, you can take quizzes, you can take exams, you can see your assignment and basically submit via Moodle. So to access your Moodle account, uh, from the university website, go to eServices. Under eServices, you go to Moodle and click on Moodle. Then you need to enter your username and then you put your password and then click log in. Once you log in, you may be directed to this page. And under this page, you scroll down and you see all the classes probably registered under your name. So for instance, this class, okay, is one of the classes you will be taking as an example. As you can see, it's very obvious that this is the class and this is the instructor. So you click on the class to see what type of information the instructor has put for you. So there is an announcement section, chat room section, for instance, the syllabus that you need to read and go through. Also, you get to see some information like chapter one, slides regarding this chapter. The teacher here has put, for instance, summary, word document about chapter one that you can read. He can even put a copy of the book in there, a video, anything. So you can see chapter two here. And then if you have a test to take, for instance, you can see a test here, test one covering chapter one and two. You may click, it's as easy as it sounds. And as it looks, you can click on text one and test one, sorry, and then you attempt quiz now. So once you click that button to take the test, you will show all the instruction needed. So you click, for instance, on the attempt and you start the attempt. And as you can see, you can see the quiz or the test right there and then. So here it's telling you to select whether it's a true or false. Okay, it could be multiple choice. It could be review essay questions and so forth. Okay, so having said that, you finish your attempt and then obviously uh, you submit the uh, test. Okay, make sure you look at the duration of the test and when you take it. Now, uh, assignment could be placed as well. For instance, as you can see here, there's a homework. So if you click on the homework, you may see uh, what needs to be done. So you read the, the assignment or the homework, and then you will have the ability to submit. Once you do your homework, let's say on Word, okay, you add submission within the time frame. Make sure it's within the due date or before the due date. Then you add submission. Once you add the submission, okay, you will see this screen. You need to add the file that you need to submit by clicking here. You choose the file as always. Let's say we have a file on the desktop called homework. You double click on homework and here it is, okay? And then you upload this file. Finally, you click submit and that's about it. If you face any technical problems, you may contact the e-learning center. For other problems related to course material, you may contact your instructor. Thank you and welcome again to ULS.